What's up everybody, how's it going? It's Burke aka Dancewait here and welcome to what could potentially be the final session of Final Fantasy V, the GBA version. It has been quite the journey and I have not been able to play the game for maybe three weeks now and we are almost 60 hours deep. It's taken me quite some time but there's been a lot of extra content in the GBA version and I've definitely enjoyed going through the sealed temple and fighting some iconic bosses like Shinryu, Omega and then we got to fight Enuo as well. So there's definitely been a lot to do and I've definitely had a lot of fun. I said it pretty much all along but I'm definitely going to stick to my guns and say that it's a better post game than Final Fantasy VI in terms of the GBA content by I would say a fair margin. I mean this, this post game stuff for the GBA version is really good. I've literally recorded this playthrough in three different countries now. I'm in Istanbul. Um, I'm in my place here. It's, I haven't been back here for over a year. So it's taken me a while to sort of sort things out here, uh, see friends and family and focus on other content. So I took a three week break from recording, but I am back now and hopefully I'm going to finish this off. Now, I was a little bit worried when I first fired it up because I didn't realize I quick saved the last time and I was looking for a way to just put in a manual save before continuing. But of course, at the end of the last session, I rechecked things, but there, there seems to be no way out here. I don't know if you can use... Um, like teleport or something from a time mage but basically we set ourselves up for a showdown seemingly without a save I'm not really 100% sure but um, I've got like my save states my save states and stuff anyway but what I will do before I head in is to try and heal up a little bit and sort of prepare myself so let's do that I may be a little bit rusty going into what is I'm assuming the final final battle slash area but you never know and then, hopefully within a few weeks after I finish this, Final Fantasy IV will await. So definitely a lot of cool Final Fantasy stuff still to come, of course, on the channel. But we've got a job to do here first. I'm going to spam whatever ethers I've got left here. We've really made it to the end now. I, I can't foresee it taking longer than this session to do anything. Okay. And what do people have? I guess the only risk is that I could... Having two black mages, but then again, I've still got like... I've got Mighty Guard and I've got Healing, but... I think I'm going to play extra safe here. I'm going to go with Jewel Cast instead. Because, I mean, honestly, like, Shin Neo Shinryu was a cool battle. It was pretty tough. So th there's a chance that this could be... This could be even worse. If this really is the final boss of this whole thing, we could be in a lot of trouble. So we've got to be careful here. I kind of like my Aegis Shield. I might still go with that. This Force Shield kind of reduces my agility by a long way, and she's already slow. So... I think I'm going to go with this. I mean, 10 less defense is not the end of the world. Okay, I think we'll go in like this and just see see how we do. So, I will throw in a save state here. I'm not going to trust the, the quick save that I have. And let's go in and see what this final battle is going to entail. Or maybe it's a final area. I can't tell at this point. But, grrr. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's not what I was expecting to happen. Uh, if you deliver the final blow as a necromancer, you can learn the secrets of dark arts. Oh, shit. We got the necromancer. You see, look, it's been three weeks. That's the one thing I forgot. Who are we going to give necromancer to? Um, I would, I'm going to say Bart's because he doesn't have much mastery of time magic so I feel like Faris is a bit more important with her time mage kind of thing so there's a necromancer dark wizards who are masters of the undead and have no fear of the dark arts so we got this at the end of the last session so there might be a final area who knows um, what should I do I mean I kind of still want to just have rapid fire <laughs> But, um, 
This is such a mage ability that I feel like it'd be a bit silly, but I don't know. Because he he re he doesn't really have much in the way of mage abilities, so like his spell levels are very low, so giving him like black magic or something feels kind of pointless. I'm wondering if I should try being a dual wield mage. That might be kind of interesting. This crystal orb, it just says orb full of magic. These generally like reduce your HP and stuff when you equip them, but let's just give it a go. Who knows? So. Dark Arts. I don't have any yet, but we'll, we'll just have to see how it kind of works. Something's coming. Mind Flayer. Okay. This probably has low HP, so I kind of need to deliberately let Bart's handle this. Right? Level 53. Yeah, okay. So we have zero Dark Arts. I guess it's something that you learn over time. Let's see how much the attacks do with the rods. I'm kind of curious. Yeah. It's going to be a bit difficult to get him to do the final <laughs> to do the final um, blow. But... Okay. I already did sleep on him. What the hell? I don't know if that's going to really help to know. You, you can never do anything about sap, it's annoying. I'm trying to find the cheat move so that he can finish it off, but you really, you have to deal the final blow with it, so that's a little bit tough. If that rod's going to miss every time, then we're in trouble. Oh. So silencing doesn't stop Mind Blast from happening, which is kind of lame. Fine. Um, trying to flick it with old. Nope. So this was not the best setup for Bart's. I, I probably should have just relied on the mage stuff, even if it was low ability. Let's just get guaranteed damage in here with some of these. I'm not even going to attack with Bart's. It's kind of pointless. Um. Wow. Loves that counter. I still have a feeling maybe it works, but no. Everyone just does too much damage at this stage to kind of straight up attack, so I'm trying not to. Okay, sleep works. That's nice. Maybe let's do a little soft comet here. It's a little baby spell. Still asleep. This is going to be very hard to bring it down to within Dark Arts range. This is a kind of needless challenge early on, but whatever. I honestly thought the Rod would still be able to do some damage here, but... Frustratingly not. Really curious what kind of dark arts we can even learn here. Okay. Now I think we're getting close. Bars can literally do a hundred damage. <laughs> Seven three six. Uh
going to keep waiting here. 736. Okay, that's not bad at all. I think Bart just needs to hit twice and he should be able to do it, so... Just going to wait. Okay, I actually did damage this time. There you go. So, final blow dealt by Bart. Gain Drain Touch. There you go. Nice. Excellent work. I see you have defeated that foul beast. With this, you may pass to the Cloister of the Dead. The Cloister of the Dead is a gathering place for restless souls. Your task is simple. Enemies will appear before you, one by one. You must defeat them all. After five adversaries have fallen, you may advance to the next stage. You will also be given time to prepare, to prepare for the battles to come. If necessary, you may leave the cloister. However, in such a case you forfeit the challenge, and upon your next entrance even those you had defeated will return. To emerge victorious, you must press on and defeat the beasts in one fell swoop. Oh man. This was not good after a three, three week break. <laughs> now I want a manual save. Okay, so I can do it in here, right? Let's get that save in. <laughs> I kind of want to use the Necromancer th throughout that entire thing as maybe like an extra little bit of challenge. But of course, I kind of need to, to sort it out because I don't know what are his job abilities, sorry, job levels for any of the mages. Level 3, level 1. Level zero. So I don't think he's the best necromancer. So I guess once he learns it, everyone can learn it, right? Uh, so I think I can maybe. So I think maybe I can make Kryle a necromancer instead of a blue mage, possibly. Maybe just have like dark arts plus blue. So I'm gonna put Bart's back to freelancer, I think. He just doesn't have, it, it doesn't seem like you can do much in the way of physical damage with um, with the Necromancer. I mean, maybe Rapid Flare, maybe Rapid Fire, and the right weapon can still do it. Like, you can still equip, like, Chicken Knife and stuff, but I don't know. It feels, it feels magey. I don't want to try and force it too hard to try and, like, not be a mage. Yeah, Cryo can be the Necromancer. And we'll have Dark Arts plus Blue. I'm hoping that she's still going to pick up the Drain Touch from um, that Bart's got. So we're not allowed shields here, right? No. Yeah. So equipment-wise, you're very limited. It feels weird to kind of go back to this sort of limitation after all this time. Um... I suppose I can still gold hairpin here because I might be using big MP with the blue magic spells. I do wonder what the Crystal Orb does. I mean, it says full of magic. I don't know if it has a detrimental effect. I didn't really notice it too much. Defense all the way down to 18, which is kind of shit, but... It's interesting enough to me that I kind of want to give it a go. Nullifies elements, so we've got elemental protection, ribbon, we have... Uh, do I still go for the full shield? Man, that agility hit is huge. Let me see if I can balance it out partially. Maybe I'll just have, like, Hermes sandals to balance it out. My defense really falls. My magic defense is terrible with that, but... Yeah, this still feels like the better choice. I mean, magic all the way up to 71, which is impressive. 
and then if I go for like Hermes sandals. Yeah, Magic Pen's 19, 19, 29. It's, it's okay, I guess. Stamina down. We'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll go with that. Because I like having this, this elemental protection. So I have three characters with good elemental protection. Because we're going to be fine a bit of everything. I feel like that's going to be useful. And Kryal's like a little bit of a weak link at the moment. Maybe I'll swap the gold hairpin if it's not going well. Maybe I'll go with like ribbon or... I'll change something up with one of these, potentially. But we'll go with this for now, see how we do. Okay, let me save again. What's her MP like, by the way? 451. And 4000 HP, at least that's something. That's not too bad. So, um, in the Final Fantasy VI postgame, the final thing I did was like another shrine where we basically had to go up levels and fight pretty much every single enemy in the game and pretty much complete the, the bestiary as a result. And it seems to me like we've got a similar thing going on here, but at the top of it, my assumption is that we face something different. So heading in, let's see what the, the bestiary looks like. 92%. I think I got to like 96% or something in, in Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing some little random stuff here and there, like nothing major, I think. It's funny, both of these enemies before Gilgamesh in the list. So that's weird. I think once again, once I'm done with this entire thing as well, I'll probably make an annotation to let you guys know what these are that I've missed. But maybe we'll get to 100, who knows, by the time I finish this, so we'll see. Okay, here we go. Gotta to remember to try and have the Necromancer deal the final blow. Halls of strong enemies traverse the cloister of the dead. Those who are negligent will quickly perish. Are you certain you wish to enter? Yes. I have no problem with perishing. <laughs> yeah, they like this area. I mean, it's a cool area. Again, if you imagine like a remake kind of thing, this area would look pretty epic. So, hordes of enemies, huh? Wing Raptor. Are these like high level enemies or are they going to be like every enemy in the game vibes? Yeah, look, level 1. But 12,000 HP. Okay. Breath Wing. Rip. Okay, that's pretty good. But I think Rapid Fire is still kind of generally too strong for a lot of this stuff. Yeah. So just a reminder here that Rapid Fire is still going to be kicking butt. And there's no break between the five enemies, so got to watch out for that. Um. I do. Wait a minute. Oh, that's what that orb does. Shit. Stupid orb. I'm pretty sure that's what the orb was. It turns you like. Or oh, the necromancer is like kind of undead by default, so they always take damage from healing. That's something I've got to obviously very, be very careful about. Um, I kind of got to be careful to just not kill stuff in one go too much. Drain touch MP8. Let's have a look. Ooh, cool animation. Oh, he's, I was going to say he's going to take him out with the counter. Thankfully, that time he didn't counter. Three, seven, three, four. Okay, one more drain touch and we should get the job done. Obviously, going to try my best to get Kryl to finish things off with this. And obviously, you're not going to learn something every time, but it's like an added little challenge slash bonus to see what we can do. Siren. Wow. Okay. Alrighty. So I think for now I'll just kind of mess around and try and use some status effect stuff. You never know. Okay. Oh wow, that was came back very quick.
So I don't think it really matters what we defeat him with. I think we should be fine. Um, this seems a very Necromancer ability. And 1,400 damage to boot. That's not bad at all. So Necromancer looking powerful. The right kind of setup. 14,000. Okay, these are pretty solid amounts of HP. Paralyzed. Ooh. Nice. So I'm not going to hit it. I don't know if it's just like a temporary state. Um. Oh, wow. That's a lot of damage. Okay. There we go. Cryo gained a job level. Gained Oath. Okay. Nice. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I haven't encountered the stone guy before. Well, plant slash stone guy, I guess. 16,000. Okay. I mean, these numbers are looking much more solid, and that damage is looking solid too, so... I feel like we're going to encounter some really cool stuff here. And I think that was the full shield just eating up that damage. Oof. Yeah, we still mean business. Um. Just try something like this, see how much damage we're doing. Quite. Check out Magissa as well. I mean, are these souped up versions of like older enemies? I think they are. Level 8. Okay. Uh... Let's just stop him. Yeah, these two can do nice big chunks of damage. Still no win. Oh, nice. That was a good move. Yeah, we're going to encounter some cool stuff here. I mean, even this, to me, seems like better... Oh, God. Didn't get to kill that one. I kind of wish he didn't have counter now. <laughs> there's, there's not too much I can do about it, I think, but... I don't think I can stop him countering unless I remove Freelancer. So this is the final one. It's the boss, I assume. Gill Turtle. Oh boy. This guy again. I think it did Earthquake at the end. Right? Did it? i got to be careful in any case. Um, let's lever it, see if it's the same as the one we encountered earlier. Seven. I think so. Okay. Run of Water Frost. Cool. Um, I think we'll just use uh, Mighty Guard this time. And I mean with the added levels and stuff, with Mighty, uh, sorry, with Rapid Fire, we still do plenty of damage. But Turtle still hits hard, as you can see. Very hard, in fact. Yeah, I remember Turtle just being a nasty move. Uh... I'll still throw the Mighty Guard on anyway. Yeah, this, this bit is going to put us through our paces for sure. And I like the format. Sorry, wait, no. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Let's just do it like that. Um, Cryo not having Ribbon also showed up here as well. Oh god, I keep forgetting that Kuraga. I haven't had a chance to, to change anything anyway, um, in terms of equipment, so there's not much I can do at the moment, but... For now, let's just do a bit of that. Yeah, those level 2 spells are just useless, man.
And it just gets way too many turns. Yeah, this thing I remember being a real pain. Let's speed ourselves up here. Wow, that was not that good. So this time, I'm not going to use Kuraga on everybody, because we saw how that went. But obviously then the question is, how do you heal Cryo, other than Drain Touch? And she doesn't have any kind of element absorption either, so I don't think there's much we can do. Yeah, that, that counter is just massive. Okay, well dodged. Uh, let's see, is there anything I can really do to it? I mean, I feel like even White Wind would kill her. No. Um, I think I'm going to let Cryo die. I'll just use a rise. I, I feel like that's a better way to to get her HP back to maximum. Again, I'm still going to try to get Cryo to deal the final blow, but it's not looking easy. Alright, now some people are going to die. That's a lot of moves. Uh... Okay, that's what I was hoping for. It must be very close to death now. Oh wow, well covered. Look at that. Sheesh. Oh, now he's going to finish it off. Ah, damn it, so close. That counter is killing me. That counter is killing me. Um, okay, let me see. We have the Oath ability now. Call forth a demon. I think we've got to see what, what this thing can do, so we've got to check this out more. But now, of course, once again, we've got to do everything all over again. I don't think we need the gold hairpin anymore, though, um, if we're not going to use blue magic. Yeah, okay, we've got some cool stuff then. Um, I guess now we can also find out if Crystal Orb is the reason why we were had zombie status. It's probably not. I mean, it's called a Necromancer, so my guess is that it kind of has this permanent undead status, but... Um, yeah, even though it has regen on it, like that would be pretty funny because you're slowly going to die throughout, but let's just leave it for now. Let's just see how it does. I mean, do you get healed from poison if you're an undead? But yeah, that Bart's counter is just... I mean, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna remove it. Like, I'm not gonna give him a, a specific job just so he doesn't have a counter. I think that'd be a bit silly. Or, like, nerf his attack so that he doesn't counter-attack. It's just... Also, if Kryle is undead, I mean, what happens when you heal in the menu? Does she still die from it? No. <laughs> that would be funny if she died in the menu as well. Okay. I mean, in general, I think we're doing fine. But definitely curious to see what's going to happen to, to Kryle now. Uh, the only thing is, I might... 
Again, there's going to be menu work for me. Let me just double check what she has beforehand so I can just do it quickly. Okay. I'm going to go back to black as well. I feel like someone needs like standard black magic here. Okay, we'll go back to this and we'll see if we can handle the next horde. 